Guys, if you're watching this video, probably you're facing the problem of how to transfer your WhatsApp from Android phone to iPhone, right? So there are several ways and all of them you have to pay for it. And the free way is how to migrate your WhatsApp data. Ideally, you need to do it straight away. Whenever you bought your iPhone, it's brand new, it's fresh, and then you will be able to do so. But in this case, I will show you how you can actually do that with the used iPhone, which is activated and pass through all those first entry procedures. And now you kind of have your activated WhatsApp and you can't get back to this mode where you can use the move to iOS application, which will allow you to move your data from your Android phone. And the only way to do that is kind of you have to hard reset and start the registration of your new device again, which is really annoying because you might have some data on your phone and it's all preset up in the way you want it. So in this video, I will show you the method which work for me and pretty much sure that it should work for you as well. So first of all, you need to install move to iOS application on your Android phone. Second step is you Google iMazing, get on their website and download their application. This app is available for both operational systems. Once it's downloaded and installed, you should have the similar screen whenever you connect your iPhone. Click on Manage Apps. I would recommend you just to install the lightest app, whatever you're gonna find in App Store. The simple reason is why I'm asking that, we're gonna create a backup copy of this app. In my case, I will just create a backup copy of this speedometer app. Right click on it, click on backup data. So one app will be backed up in iMazing app format. Choose the destination folder where you would like to save this new file. Extract options, skip the same way as it's shown, click next. Do the trust verifications from your iPhone. All right, now we are in the process of creating this backup file, which will help us in the further steps. It might take a while, so don't worry, but please wait patiently until the whole thing will be finished. All right, it's all done. Close the window. Now we have this backup file, which you can see here. So the next step is you go to the manage apps, click on this little arrow and click on restore app data. You choose your new amazing app file. So this is the key moment to restore this app. Your iPhone will reboot into the restore mode. By the way, you have to turn off find my iPhone function. And once it's done, your iPhone will reboot and start it up in the recovery mode. And then in this recovery mode, you just continue the basic setups of your iPhone, but don't worry, all your data will be safe. And all what you need to do is pretty much follow the migrate from Android to iPhone instructions. But please don't mess up and do the transfer data only of the WhatsApp application. Once it's all done, you can use your iPhone again and all your WhatsApp history from your Android phone will be represented on your iPhone. The transition process might take a time in my case, it took three hours, so please be patient. I hope that method helped you and worked out. Remember, this is absolutely free. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. The step-by-step -step instructions are left in the descriptions and pinned as the first comment. All the best, guys. Bye.